the majority of the Seattle Seahawks uh, preparation for New England Patriots is done. Now off the field, the Seahawks uh, signed, re-signed rookie linebacker Jamie Sheriff. If you remember, uh, he was undrafted. Team signed him through the preseason, then waived him. He was picked up by Carolina Panthers, played one game for them. They waived him, and the Seahawks snatched him back. And so, uh, other than that, let's get to the video. How would you rate your practice week? Just how the yeah, we're making, we're, uh, we're making strides. Um, just a common understanding of what the expectations are, what it what it takes to go win games. Um, it's a process over results. So no matter kind of what comes out of the game, you're always evaluating uh, what the work went, you know, going in. And um, I think we had a we had a really strong week. Doubtful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> With Ken and George, is there any concern about surgery? Anything more serious than uh, than just week to week? Well, who was that? Uh, I was distracted. George and Ken. George and Ken. <laughs> George and Ken. Um, yeah, I'm not. I mean, I'm we're just gonna kind of let it play out right now. So before we actually go play the game, so um, we're in a good spot. If Ken Ken can't go for num for if numbers, can't anybody up? It's gonna happen tomorrow. I'm not gonna tell you today. We're gonna have to find out tomorrow. I'm sorry, guys. It's the best best for the team just to not not tell you. This game is about. Our guys and their guys, who can play a better game for the whole game, our guys know that. Um, yeah, it's, this game, it's pretty simple. They, they're adults, but is there messaging about staying focused, not social media, in, in your process when you're teaching teams just to stay focused on the game? Come up just from week to week and... I, I, yeah, I mean, week to week and in general, just in terms of who you are as a coach and what you're trying to get them to focus. And I would say minimize distractions is the best way that I can put it outside of the Well, task. I mean, inevitably there's a lot of distractions with everything. So um, it's kind of part of the game, uh, unfortunately. But uh, it's also good because people are interested in, in what we do. So that's, that's also great. But uh, I think the mentality that we're preaching and the guys that are buying into is just this, the whole moment by moment philosophy of um, stacking wins and, and you, know, you can't win two games until you win one you can't have a good play until you, you know you go to the next one so that's the mentality just try to keep it as simple as possible and uh, stand the moment win those moments uh, relish those moments you know cherish those things because these are this is a pretty cool opportunity that we have to go you know be a team go across the country go play a football game in front of so many people so um, that's our mentality I wish I was cooler. You know, I wish I, 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 wish I was okay. more. We'll find it out. Yeah, I'm find not out. the most interesting man in the world. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll start locking. We'll have some things going on. What do, you, what do you gather from the other players who've already played 10 a.m. games? This is your first 10 a.m. game in the West Coast. The East Coast. Yeah, you got to get up. You got to get ready to go. Um, no messing around. A lot of the stuff we did in the off season was tailored for for these you know for these trips. So uh, we'll see. We'll see where the guys are ready. But they understand that we're gonna have to. It's gonna come early, but. Um, People have played football games going east before. We've done it. We've done it at a high level here. So um, the expectation is to go out and, and start the game fast. Um, getting a good night's sleep tonight. Try to limit the naps. That's what that's what Sam tells me. Abiding by the rules. Yeah, they got. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, they're they're listed right now. I just look. I want to. I want to help you. I just, <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel? What's the help this works? It's not going to work. It's not fun to play for me. You know, it's not fun to get a couple safeties in the first couple drives and throw interceptions. And, like, we can't operate like that and be sustained and have sustained success. The guys know that. So, um, that's been a, it's not just this week, it's a point of emphasis. That's just how you win games in the NFL. You know, you, you start with the lead, you get a stop, and all of a sudden, the odds are in your favor, and you're in a way favorable position moving forward. So, we want to live there, and uh, if not, then we'll live the, you know, the other, other, the other spot, in the dark spot. But um, all those equal, you want to start the game. Giving them a strategy for handling the week, trying to bank some some hours over the course of the week. Um, what their strategy is once they get in, sleeping on the plane, how much you want to do it, and so forth. I mean, it's, it's easy to just fall asleep on a cross country flight, but um, it's not necessarily what's best for you to get ready to go play a 10 a.m. game. Normally, as uh, close to what we're used to. You just. Uh, Got a great message, man. Hit us, hit the bullseye on that one. What did he say? Yeah, yeah but it. it's uh, us working through early downs, early part of the week, kind of getting into more specialized things, middle of the week, and then at the end, it's like end of game scenarios, 
uh, high leverage plays, things like that. So um, that's kind of where we're at right now in the process. All right, so you saw the injury report and uh, and Ken Walker is doubtful and then you also heard from uh, Mike McDonald. I gotta tell you, today was kind of a of a fun practice, fun post uh, conference with him and you know, it was a chess match. We asked him questions about the injury. He wouldn't give us any of that, but he was kind about it. Like, hey, look guys, you know what? I, I love you guys, but I love my team more. Kind of the gamesmanship that goes on in the NFL between us coaches and uh, just, you know, what they're trying to do. So the keys to the game for me are, number one, I would say the Seahawks defensive line uh, that was led by Leonard Williams, Jaron Reed, Byron Murphy, and Jonathan Hankins was ranked five last week. Uh, after last week's performance against Denver Broncos, Pro Football Focus ranked them number five. And part of that was just because, you know, um, you know, Leonard Williams had a really, really amazing game just in terms of that... Um, he had um, six pressures and four quarterback hits. And, you know, I know Boy Mafe got the tackle, got the sack there, but it just goes to show you that, you know, what they want to do, that the Seahawks, in terms of rotating that defensive line, is working. The other one I would probably say is that the offensive line, you know, Geno Smith was harassed and hunted against the Broncos. And, um, yeah, I get the offensive line flipped the switch in the second half, but... You see that Ken Walker probably won't play. So, you know, with Zark Charbonnet, in order for the team to really, you know, assert themselves, they have to start, have a clean start. And then also, they need to run the ball well. That means the offensive line has to be on their blocks, execute from the start. I asked Mike McDonald, so what does that mean, a clean start? He said, look, in, in, in the way he was play, saying, he was like, you know, you don't want to start from there, but if you do, then the idea is to open that but really he said the message is always going to be every game start 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 fresh start hard execute and do not get behind the the sticks and then so the other one I think the last one would be how does Mike McDonald get his team ready for week two right week one is one thing it's a hostile environment just how ready will the Seahawks be from the beginning and we know they can overcome adversity from the VMAC in Renton I'm Asvita Meyer here for the Cascadia Sports.net